this is Sarah. So Google is listening to teachers' requests when it comes to Google Meet, and they've been very busy over um, spring break. <laughs> so Google Meet is now actually integrated with Google Classroom to make it even easier than ever to create Google Meets for your students in your Google Classroom. Also, I'm gonna show you how to use Meet Attendance so that you can take attendance for the students that um, come to your uh, classroom meets. The week before spring break, I did a couple of virtual PDs on Google Meets on how you can use nicknames when creating Google Meets. And that method does still work. And uh, it works great, especially for those of you who do not use Google Classroom at all. However, for those of you who use Google Classroom, you now have an easy option to manage Meets with your students. And here is how it works. So here is uh, a sample class that I have. So we can generate a unique Google Meet for the students in our class. And we do that by going to this um, gear, the settings icon, looks like a little gear box. And this brings us down to the general class code. This is where they have the class codes. And right here, you can see they have added a section where you can create a Google Meet link for your classroom. And you simply click on Generate Meet Link, give it a couple seconds, and boom! So that is there in your classroom. And once you generate the Meet, it will give you the option to make it visible to your students. And you can turn that off. So you can turn that off if you are not ready for your students to see that. And you can use this link over and over. And this link for the Meet will be displayed on the stream page and on the class work page. However, if you have this visible to students, the students can click on that and they can join the Meet without you. So I would wait to make the link visible to your student until you are pretty much already in the meeting because right now administration has decided to allow students to create Google Meets. This option called video calling in the administrative side of Google Meet is right now, it is turned on. So that can be turned off, but the administration has made the decision to, um, to leave that on for now so that students can actually create Google Meets and socialize on their own. But for this, this means you need to be the very first person in that meet or you will not have control of your, of your meeting. The first person in the meet is the person that can silence people and remove people. So if you're not the first person in that meeting, then you won't be able to like uh, mute students because sometimes they will forget to turn off their microphone. Um, but anyway, it is still nice to have this. So let me sort of show you how this will work. All right, so we have it visible for the students right there. And then you do need to click Save. Now let's go to the student view. So this is a student classroom here. So this is Gabby right here. So hello, Gabby. So as you can see, because we made it visible, it is right here for Gabby to see. And also, if she would go to the classwork page, there is now a meet icon that she can click on right there to join it. So if, so like if I would go in here and I would turn this off and click save, in the stream it would not be there anymore and then in the classroom um, page, in the classwork page, sorry, um, that little icon would not be visible. So for our purposes, I am going to turn that back on. What she has to do is click on that link. I'm going to turn her microphone off and then she can join. All right, so she is in there and then I can go on in. Now, of course, as the teacher, you want to be the very first person that is in that meeting. That is so important so that you can have control of the meet. So this is Gabby's account right here. Um, you know, Gabby was the first person in the meeting, so, so she has control, so she can, um, she can remove me from the meeting. So if I go over here in my control, um, it says I cannot remove and I cannot, um, 
unmute. Well, I cannot unmute someone, but because Gabby was the first person there, so it's really important that you are the first person in the meeting as the teacher. So I wanna show you how to take attendance in your Meet. So I downloaded this Chrome extension. So if you've never downloaded a Chrome extension, all you have to do is type in Meet Attendance Chrome extension and then click on the first option <laughs> and it will bring up the, the uh, Chrome web store. I'm not gonna remove it right now, but what you would wanna do is you would wanna click add to your Chrome. So in this meeting, I can take attendance. So this pops up and I click this and it automatically creates a uh, Google Sheet with the date of the meet and the time and it says who is in the meeting. Okay, so that was a really nice uh, extension that was added over over the over the break so we're back in our meeting here so i'm gonna have gabby remove me <laughs> um and then i will come back here to our to our class like i said you can go back in here and you can hide that from the students just make sure that you save it that it is gone and then it's gone from the banner and it's gone from the classwork page for the student now if for some reason you would like to change your uh, URL. It's the same one all the time, but if you would want to um, make a new classroom meet URL, you can go down here and you can reset it. So those are the basics on how to uh, take advantage of the new integration with Google Meet and Google Classroom. All right, stay healthy, stay well, and we will hopefully be seeing each other soon. All right, have a great day.